So when our Jeeps are bought, new, they come out with an all-season tire. And that all-season tire is really designed to work everywhere, drive pavement, snow, ice, rain. They're designed to last a long time, and they're designed to be quiet. They don't do us very much good off-road. And so if you're planning on doing some trails or getting into some mud or some grassy fields, it's, it's definitely not the choice. The next step up from there is gonna be an all-terrain tire. The all-terrain tire is gonna have some more lugs in it, larger pieces that can grab a hold of things and get a bite. There's gonna be a lot of rain siping in there. That's gonna be those small, thin cuts that are in there. The all-terrain tires are gonna stay pretty quiet. They're not gonna hear them much on the highway. And they're typically going to have a mileage warranty, uh, 50, 60,000 mile tire, that kind of thing. Ride quality is, is pretty strong. The drawback to that all-terrain tire is it's going to fill up with mud. So if you were to get in a muddy situation or if you were to have a rock ledge you needed to climb up with, the lugs may not be opened up quite enough. In that mud situation, the tread's going to pack with mud and so it's not gonna clean out to get the next bite. The next step up from there would be what we consider a hybrid tire, and that's a really nice cross between an all-terrain and a mud-terrain tire. So we have characteristics of both, and if you look at the tread, you'll typically find the center line of the tread is gonna be more like an all-terrain, but on the outer edge of a tire, we're gonna have some of those larger mud lugs that can get in there and, and get a bite and that'll clean out if you get them spinning and full of mud. It is not the best all-terrain tire, it's not the best mud tire, but it's a really nice cross section. And these tires remain quiet as well. The next step up from there is gonna be your mud terrain tire. Now this tire is gonna have a little bit of sound to it on the highway. For some people, this might be really annoying. For others that are gonna have the top off, it may not matter, but it is something you wanna make sure you're aware of. Most of the technology is still pretty decent that I consider them usable on a daily driven vehicle. Once we get into the mud terrain tire, we're gonna lose the mileage guarantees and the road hazard. In our experience, you can expect anywhere between 40 to up to, uh, let's say 50,000 miles. As they get older, they tend to be prone to chop up a little bit and that can make them even louder. So it's really critical that you stay on top of your tire maintenance with a mud tire. It's not something you're going to put on and just forget about it for 60,000 miles. It's, it's something you're going to have to rotate all the time. You're going to have to stay on top of your tire alignments, your wheel alignments to keep these things from chopping up. You're going to need to balance them on a regular basis and that'll extend their life and of course keep them quieter. The next step up is gonna be what we consider to be a dedicated off-road tire. And I generally don't recommend these for daily drivers. They're not gonna be any good in the rain and the snow. Borderline dangerous, I would say. There's almost no rain technology in them. Now these are gonna have really large lugs and they're gonna be able to grab onto rock faces and ledges and they're gonna be able to throw mud out pretty quickly and not pack up. And from the off-road perspective, I think they're probably a great tire, but if you regularly travel more than 35 miles an hour, I think you're gonna hate them because they're generally not round and they don't balance very well. So we consider those more suited for just off-road vehicles only. When looking at a tire, we'll look at the general size, the width, the tread design, the pattern, what it's designed to do. So we need to figure out where that client, where they're going to drive and how they're going to drive and make sure that we get a uh, tire that fits into that cross section. 